Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 547. What is hemoglobin? Hemoglobin is an iron-containing oxygen transport metalloprotein in the red blood cells. Its function is to carry oxygen from the respiratory organs to the rest of the body. Describe the structure of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a quaternary structure and it's composed of four polypeptide subunits, which are the two alpha and two beta subunits. What are the two forms of hemoglobin? The two forms of hemoglobin is the T form or the tot form, you could also think of this as the tense form, and the R form, which is the relaxed form. Describe these two forms affinity to oxygen. Tot form or the T form has low affinity for oxygen, whereas the relaxed form has a high affinity for oxygen. And this high affinity is high by about 300 times. What is the mnemonic to help you remember the tot form and the relaxed form? The mnemonic is to remember that the tot form is found in tissues because of the low affinity for oxygen. So remember T for tot and T for tissue, whereas the relaxed form is found in the respiratory system and R for relaxed and R for respiratory. One additional thing to note about hemoglobin that we have also mentioned in the pharmacology chapter is that hemoglobin has cooperative kinetics and therefore has a sigmoid curve instead of having a hyperbolic enzymatic reaction curve. Describe how loading and unloading of oxygen on hemoglobin occurs. Oxygen is loaded on hemoglobin in the respiratory system. In the respiratory system, you have high pH, low carbon dioxide, and low concentration of 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate. All these things are what favors the relaxed form of hemoglobin. So in the respiratory system, there is relaxed form of hemoglobin, so this area has a high affinity for oxygen, so therefore oxygen is going to be able to load on to the hemoglobin and will now travel to the tissues. Once the hemoglobin with the oxygen gets to the tissue, at the tissue there is low pH, high carbon dioxide, and high concentration of 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate, and these are all the things that favor the tau form of hemoglobin. So when the relaxed form converts into the tau form, this is going to lead to low oxygen affinity and therefore leading to the unloading of oxygen at the tissues. Describe the properties of fetal hemoglobin. Fetal hemoglobin has two alpha and two gamma subunits, which has a lower affinity for the 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate than the adult hemoglobin, and therefore there is a higher affinity for oxygen. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.